Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. Second attempt at this video. It is July 12th. It's only 79 degrees right now, but it is so ungodly humid. Humid, and it's just like pea soup. Oh, you walk outside and it just whacks you right in the face. You just start sweating instantly. It's even overcast. It's just so humid. So hopefully it rains soon. Going up to 90 today. It's gonna be brutal. Um, today I'm smoking my 7LE 606KS Carmella. A little like cream and uh, caramel accent piece with the brown caramel stem. And in it today I am smoking some Capstan Blue. Which I have to say I'm enjoying this a little bit more than I had remembered. I, for some reason, at some point, when I was smoking this stuff, it was giving me like a weird aftertaste. But it's not right now. Um, I'm enjoying it, I gotta say. It's a... Uh, <clears throat> full Virginia. Um, I, I I do taste the you know the yellow like that similar Virginia taste from the yellow for the gold I should say, um, but you know just a little fuller. And it's a good comparison because this morning I smoked the bowl of uh, full Virginia flake, which is what I would compare this to the most. I feel like Full Virginia Flake is very comparable comparable to Capstan Blue or Capstan Original. Um, yeah, and I don't know why, but like maybe it's the pipe I'm smoking it out of. <clears throat> um, Maybe it was the pipe I smoked out of, you know, the last few times I smoked it. But I, I haven't smoked this in a while just because I uh, wasn't really enjoying it that much. It was leaving, like, a weird... It's giving me a weird taste. But this is, uh... You know, this is your pure Virginia, your full Virginia flake... Maybe a little darker than, than, than pure Virginia. Definitely full Virginia flake. Right up there with like the Brigade dark flake, Wessex. Hmm. It's really weird how, how you know, how blends can, can change and that's why <clears throat> You know, unless there's something that you really just don't like, um, it's always a good idea to put something away and, and try it again in a, in a few months. You know, you might find that your palate changes or the tobacco ages a bit and rounds itself out or it's just, it's, it's funny how that works. Because there's been plenty of blends that initially I didn't like at all. And then I tried them um, a, w a while afterwards, and then I ended up loving them. There's obviously the blends that you just know you love right off the bat, and there's no no mistaking it. But uh, this this I was never a huge fan, and I can't say I'm a huge fan right now because it's one bowl. But I'm definitely intrigued again. Um, I've been smoking so much of the gold. <clears throat> I've been going through that like crazy. I smoke that like almost every other day, probably. And I have some tint to the blue. So I'm gonna, you know, I have a little bit left in this jar. I'm gonna all smoke through this and then crack another tin and see how I like it. We 
but yeah, if you're a full Virginia Flake lover, or if you just like Virginias with some complexity, just in general, um, I think give this a try. You might like it. You might get that same weird taste that I was getting. Um, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something that they case it with or... But I'm a little... It's just a little trick because like... Right now I'm tasting what you would think it would be. It would be the Capstan Gold but just a little deeper, a little fuller. But in the past it's not what I've gotten, so... Moral of the story is, uh, don't give up on tobaccos unless you've done it a couple times and then you know. Or bacon old fashioned, you can give up on that immediately. That stuff's horrible. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, <clears throat> I did some archery again this weekend and I totally screwed up because. I left uh, six of my arrows. I wasn't planning on having to go up to Lancaster Archery for a while. Um, you know, I got the guy that I'm getting coached by. He's got some stuff going on, and I've been up there a lot lately. And I was like, I'm, you know, I'm good. I don't need anything. Uh, I'm all squared away. And uh, I get home, and as soon as I walk in the door, he, Luke calls me and goes, uh, did you forget something? And I was like... Maybe I, we had all kinds of stuff. I was we were doing. He's like, uh, did you forget some arrows? I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> I did. He's like, yeah, you did. I'm like, oh man. So at some point, I'm gonna have to drive back up there to pick up my arrows. <laughs> but I did make a stop on the way home to uh, this place called Dutch Haven. They have shoe fly pie, which is amazing never had it it's a an Amish pie with like molasses and um, brown sugar and it's really good and then I got some of the original Amish style root beer some of their soft pretzels some whoopie pies all the delicious stuff so at least if I go back up there I can always make a stop and re-up on some goodies there's so much awesome stuff like in Lancaster, all the roadside produce and eggs and milk. And, I mean, anything you want, all the furniture and sheds. And the Amish are just uh, amazing people. Uh, the, the craftsmanship and the stuff that they make is stood the test of time. It's You can't beat it for the price and for the, the quality of the craftsmanship. Yeah, we're pretty lucky to have Lancaster, you know, Within an hour's drive. So if you're in the you know <clears throat> northeast area <clears throat> and you've never made the trip out to Lancaster, it's uh it's a pretty cool experience. There's tons of stuff to do. You know, with kids, there's Strasbourg Railroad, there's Dutch Wonderland, there's um, you know, buggy rides and all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, um, I'm unfortunately about to get out of my car and step into the nasty pea soup weather that we're having today. I don't want to, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Um, I kind of not really going anywhere in any direction this week as far as like last week I did the Burleys and the fourth generation and you know, I don't really think it. I don't know. I haven't really put too much thought into it. I, I was kind of running out the door. I grabbed this, packed it up. I wanted to see what my thoughts were going to be. And I'm pleasantly surprised. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. You guys have a great start to your week. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys. <laughs>